Hi, my name is John Wendler. I'm the owner of Steam Master. I'm going to be walking you through what to do in case you have a tomato-based spill, whether it's something from salsa, spaghetti, tomato juice, or tomato soup. You name it, if it's tomato-based, this is going to help you out. Now, we're going to be using a few things to help us out today. This is a teaspoon of non-bleach, non-fabric softener laundry detergent. Here we have a half a cup of water and a half a cup of vinegar. And lastly, we have just warm water. In addition to those things, you're gonna be using some cloths and some towels to do your dirty work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started now. I'm gonna apply our our uh, salsa to the carpet. I'm going to make sure to get that in there. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a towel to get as much solid up as possible. You want to make sure not to make a bigger mess in this step to avoid the amount of cleanup you have. As you can see, we don't have any chunks of green pepper, tomato, or onion in there. We've just got the sauce on our carpet. Now, we're going to go ahead and use our laundry detergent and water mixture. Take a clean white cloth like this. Just dip it in your cup. As you can see, that got a good majority of it out. Now you can see there's still a little bit of a hint of red, so we're gonna go ahead and the next step is going to be using our vinegar solution with another clean white towel. As you can see, that looks much better now, but we can't stop just yet. If we were to leave it at this, this carpet would actually get much dirtier, much dirtier, a lot quicker than normal. The reason is because there's still a soapy residue in here. So next we're gonna go ahead and use our water and extract as much of that soap and vinegar as possible.
And there you go. It is all gone. This isn't going to get just as dirty as quickly. And that's the end of it. If you have any problems with your own stains, you can go ahead and send me an email, or if you'd like, you can call me. We have a guide to common spots and spills and how to handle them and how to get them out just using your everyday normal stuff. If you happen to have something you can't handle, always make sure to call a professional. Thanks. Have a great day.